know it's out. <laughs> Alright, so, what's that with y'all? Um, I asked y'all to send me some questions on Instagram. Um, and y'all, y'all fell through with it. Y'all sent me quite a few, so I'm gonna be answering all the questions that y'all have for me. So let's rock out. So the first question I got, when is my birthday? I was born August the 26th. Um, I'm a Virgo. I don't really know how the whole signs go. So I'm either like a Virgo or Leo. Some people tell me I'm like, I'll fall in between both because I'm on the 26th and so I'm on September, so. Yo, when did I start modeling? Honestly, I'm not, to tell you the truth, I kind of always just been taking pictures. Like my mom took pictures of me when I was little and stuff like that. And then the field that I really wanted to go into was acting. Um, and then after, you know, trying to act and stuff, it just kind of fell hand in hand. So just honestly, just getting comfortable on the camera. I really started taking it serious within the last maybe a couple of years or so. So yeah, let me see. <clears throat> what did you think when quarantine started? I thought the world was about to end because like nobody's ever seen anything like COVID before. So it kind of just, everybody just kind of went on lockdown. Everybody kind of shut down. And I was kind of just like, bro, what? No school? Because when it happened, when quarantine hit, I was on spring break. And so my week of spring break turned into like a whole extra like three months. My spring break turned into my summer, essentially. So during that time, I just tried to be as productive as possible. Um, and during that time, I ended up blowing up on TikTok. I was like, well, let me try this whole TikTok thing out. And during quarantine is really when I started blowing up my TikTok. And that's probably how y'all watch me right now know me. So, yeah, to answer your question, that's what I thought when quarantine started. It was an opportunity for everybody to just be productive and start some new things and meet new people and try a new hobby and get good at different things. Let's see what else we got on here. What is my ultimate goal in life? My ultimate goal in life, I have several, but honestly, one of my major goals is just to be successfully, successful and financially stable. Um, I keep telling myself before I die, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I wanna leave a legacy and an impact in the world. When I die, I want people to remember me for a long time to come. And in order to do that, I gotta do something really great so people will always think about me. Oh, you know, Lance Carter did this, or he did that, or he gave this to this charity, or whatever, so that's, that's, that's kind of my goal. What is your point of view on women and their body count? All I'm gonna say is this. For me, me personally, I can't really judge you based on your past. When you, when you start talking to me, you get a fresh start. That's how I look at it, because everybody can't really, you know what I'm saying, you can't keep living in your past. So, as far as it goes with women and their body count, that's between you and the dudes that you gave your body to. When, when I meet with you, we start over, and I can't judge you on it. As long as you don't keep bringing up the past, I'm not either. Let's see. <clears throat> Worst sexual experience? I'm a virgin. Next. For real, bro. No cap, no cap. For real, bro. Hashtag this line, your honor. Hashtag I don't believe these. Hashtag don't let it pray for these. God. Um, have you ever been cheated on? If so, what did you learn? Um... I never, to be honest with y'all, I never had a girlfriend. Like, I've never been in an actual, <laughs> I've never actually been in a relationship to where I've considered my, me being with someone's girlfriend and boyfriend. I've talked to girls before, and like, you know, talking, like we've talked. I never made it out the talking stage. Just because I just always had so much going on, and I've never really met a girl that I'm ready to straight up date. But shoot, to be honest with you, I feel like everybody been cheated on before, they just don't know it yet. Unfortunately, this is your wife, and hopefully she ain't cheating either, so. Nobody's safe and trust nobody, I guess. That's kind of morbid, but that's how I feel about it. Well, damn! What are the goals that you want to reach before you're 30, and how do you plan to accomplish them? That's really a good question. Before I'm 30, I want to own a crib, not just like any kind of crib. Like, I literally want a house. A house, my dream house. Like, I want my dream house before I'm 30, and it's going to happen. I'm going to make it happen. And I want to have an M sitting in the bank, one million. One million, probably, one million fifty thousand, because you just have a million sitting in the bank. It's easy to go back to not being a millionaire again. All you gotta do is go buy a fry from McDonald's and you back at not being a millionaire. So I gotta have a million and some change sitting in the bank. I wanna have my dream car. And 
I'm going to be doing something that has to do with giving back. I want to have like my own charity or something like that or giving money to some research. I want to do some kind of philanthropy uh, before I'm 30. How do I plan to get there? I plan on hustling now so I can kick back when I'm that age. So going hard, grinding it out while I'm still young. Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. That's how I plan to get there and being relentless and not listening to what anybody thinks or says. What's your biggest turn off about a girl? Dog. All right, so look, my biggest turn off about a girl is I don't like girls that don't have any goals because if you don't have any goals, then what are you working towards and how are you going to better me? My biggest thing about getting in a relationship, I want to learn things from the person that I'm talking to, just like they're going to learn things from me. I want to learn things from you. So if you ain't got no goals and if you ain't got no ambition, what am I going to learn from you? You're just there. And we're not, there's no, there's no, I'm not going to be taking anything from you. I'm just going to be all gifts. So that's my biggest turn off. That and girls that stay up in the mix. Like I don't like girls that are always in drama and stuff like that. I mean, it's cool. Like a girl, I know girls, some girls gossip, but I don't like girls that are all up in the mix. And like everybody, they like telling everybody business and all that kind of stuff. So I like mine's more mature. So yeah. Would you rather get one million straight up or get one penny and have that double for 31 days? Mm -hmm. So to me, I'd rather get one penny and have a double for 31 days. Only because I don't want a million straight up because I feel like I just won't be able to work for it. When I get my first million, I want to have worked for it so I can really enjoy it. If it's just given to me, then I'm kind of just going to be like, I'm a millionaire. Like, okay, I am what? And I feel like there's going to be like a void in me just because I got money now. I want to work. I want to know the struggle and the grind to get to where I want to get to get the money and have that much money. So I'm going to take the penny any day of the week and have it doubled because I'm probably not even going to use it. And even if I do, you know, I'd rather work for my meal. Let's see. If your biggest fear was presented to you, would you try to control it or let it control you? I'm definitely going to try to control it. I'm not a big fan of getting controlled or having people control me, especially not having fear in me. One of my biggest saying is, ain't no fear in me because um, I just don't want, I don't want to be controlled by anything but fear. I'm the type of person, like, if something scares me, I'm going to do it anyway, just because I don't want it to conquer me. So, like, one of my biggest fears is heights. So hopefully, you know, if I, and I still wanted to go jump out of a plane. Like, I, to this day, I still want to go skydiving. So only because it's my biggest fear. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to control the fear and not let it control me. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? I see myself with a house, financially stable, and probably quite a few movies. Definitely quite a few movies, not probably. That's why I see myself in the next five years, for sure. I want to be aimless in the next five years. Dream place to visit? I really want to go to, um, I really want to go to Paris, I'm not gonna lie. Paris, France, that's, that's my, my dream place to visit. All right, I got a few left. I'm gonna wrap it up real quick. What are some tips for wanting to model? Um, My biggest tip for someone that wants to model, the best thing that I could tell you, learn yourself, learn your angles. I still don't know myself completely and my best angles, and I'm still learning them to this day, but just learn yourself. Learn your angles and you have to be confident in yourself because you're gonna look at some pictures and be like, what the hell, I look ugly. I do it to this day. You just gotta be comfortable in yourself. And the, the more comfortable you are with yourself, the more comfortable you're gonna get in front of the camera. So, and if you wanna become a model, start looking for agencies in your area and just put yourself out there on Instagram. Instagram's the best way, the best way to um, get found and stuff like that. So just put yourself out there and get comfortable with yourself, learn who you are, your ins and outs and all that kind of good stuff. I'm going to wrap it up. That's it for now. Let me know if y'all want a part two. Thank y'all for tuning in. Just like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Y'all can go follow me at TikTok, at The Lance Carter, Instagram, The Lance Carter. Um, and yeah, thank y'all.